Hi, how are you? When we think about telehealth, we think about a video conference between a provider and the patient. In pediatrics, it's the patient as well as the family. And so the way it works is just very similar to how it works for a face-to-face -face visit. So we try to mimic that as much as possible. And that's been consistent throughout his life? You would be asked to download a MyChart app, which is the patient portal that will allow you to communicate to your provider as well as to the nurses, as well as to complete these video telehealth visits. All right, sounds good. During a video visit, I think one of the first things is getting ready and being prepared. So download the app, making sure that the video is working, the audio is working, and that's something that you can do when you download the MyChart app. Make sure that they have their questions written down um, beforehand because a lot of us in this day and age use our phone as our list of things to do, but if the phone's being used for your video visit, write it down somewhere else or have make sure that the questions are jotted elsewhere. If there's something that the parents want to show us, so if it's a rash on the arm, making sure the child is wearing the appropriate clothes so that it's easy to demonstrate and to make sure the doctor can see it. If your child has something um, or if there's a condition or concern that you have where you think most of this can be dealt with virtually, I think you, you'll be very surprised or pleasantly happy with, uh, with the outcome of that visit. And at the end of the day, if you feel like you got some information through the telehealth visit, but you really want to be seen in person, we have our offices open for face-to-face -face visits as well. One of the uh, advantages and one of the things that we found that families like for telehealth is that we can have multiple providers come on to the same visit. So we have a GI urology program where we see patients who have enuresis and constipation, so bedwetting and patients with chronic constipation, and we're able to do these visits at the same time with both providers with the family. And how long has it been having tummy pain? Because we're not needing to arrange time for space, we actually can see families more frequently because as long as I have a space that is private and the patient is available, we can make that happen. So I've been able to provide probably closer continuity of care with telehealth services and have been very happy with not only the parents' happiness of it, but also with the child's engagement. This has been a natural technology for them. They've grown up with, with this type of video conferencing.